Hello there, I am the Spud Guy, and today we'll be looking at my ray tracer in Desmos. Um, I'll be talking about how I made it, uh, how it's super challenging to make something like this in Desmos, uh, what I plan to do with it in the future, and I'll show off some of the best renderings that this has produced. So, um, first things first, that you can see the display here. Uh, this is basically a 100 by 100 grid of pixels. And I can adjust the resolution as I wish, but um, it definitely looks best with more pixels. Um, right now, it's using the maximum amount of pixels that Desmos can handle, which is 10,000. Um, and I can actually go above that if I use a mod, but I'll, I'll show you guys that later. Anyways, um, this is actually ray tracing an equation. So a lot of ray tracers trace polygons, and I'll probably make one of those at some point. But I thought this was super cool because basically you can plug in any equation, and I've made it so it'll shoot out rays from the camera, and then they'll intersect with the equation, and then they'll basically log that three-dimensional point um, in a list that corresponds with the pixel that the ray got shot from. So pretty much it's a really fancy like way to see three-dimensional equation. Anyways, yeah, so once I have those 3D points um, and once I have them stored in lists, I can color them and display them based on where they were. So uh, you can see there's like lighting and shadows and all of that. I am able to do that because once I have the 3D point, I can calculate the derivative, which is basically like the angle of the face at that point. And that lets me determine whether it's facing towards the light source or not, and like how much it's facing towards the camera. So you can see there's like little glossy bits, and then there's um, darker bits that are facing away from the camera. And then for the shadows, I actually ray trace those too. So once I have an intersection, I can then go from that intersection towards the light source. And then if it ends up hitting anything on the way towards the light source, then I know that it should be darker because light won't be able to get to it. So it's actually extremely difficult to implement because in Desmos, uh, well, everything's super slow, and that's sort of the main challenge. Um, tweaking this and everything took the most amount of time because on every single try, in order to find out what's wrong, I had to wait like five hours and then find out what was wrong and then fix a little thing and so on. But yeah, so this did take around five or six hours to render, um, including the shadows and everything. And I've done uh, like 400 by 400 grid uh, renderings, and those took like entire days. And I had to have one going overnight even. But um, this is definitely one of my favorite equations that I've rendered, just because it sort of shows off the, the glossiness and the shadows like both really well. Let's go look at some of my older versions and my other equations. So firstly, Here's one of my, let's see. Okay, here's one of my older versions. It'll take a little while to load because it's loading so many pixels. So this isn't a full 100 by 100. Oh wait, yeah it is. <laughs> um, this is basically a shape that I just thought was really interesting. It's actually a byproduct of Desmos' uh, rendering algorithm. And uh, somebody basically made an equation out of it and then a 3D version of it. and of course, I had to render it. But um, you can see here the faces are colored based on their uh, direction. And that's actually because of the color map that I used. And the color map is basically another three dimensional function that you just plug the points into, and then the output is the uh, color. So I did that for the grid lines, and then the color is just the surface normal. Yeah. Anyways, this is also an older version, so it doesn't have any uh, glossy or uh, shadowy areas. But uh, let's go to one of my favorite equations right here. This one took so long to render. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, so this is a surface that I just found online while looking for cool surfaces to render. Um, but as you can see, it shows the grid lines, and it also has the coloring based on the surface normal and shadows and everything. 
one of the harder parts about making this too was that for thin parts like this where the hole is and like the the bendy parts um the rays can actually miss it if the step is too big so while the rays are sort of stepping forward like outwards away from the camera um you have to choose an interval for them to step by and usually i make it a slightly bigger interval so that way when it encounters an intersection it lowers the interval and slowly makes the intersection more accurate but for something like this if you don't use any advanced techniques <laughs> which i didn't because i was too lazy to implement them uh, then they can very easily miss the detailed parts if you don't make it uh, low enough the reason why this one took so long it took like two days i think was because i wanted to get all the detailed parts so yeah definitely something like that could be improved by this is using uh, more advanced like algorithms for finding the intersection i'd say that's about all i have to show off for now uh, in the future i would definitely want to make a particle simulation out of this obviously <laughs> Um, I think it would be super cool to like model different um, like jet engines using equations and then have particles sort of bounce off of it and like see how that affects their flow or something like that. I don't know. If I end up doing something like that, I'll definitely post like a short video or something. But yeah, I could also make it more, more like a, a path tracer where it takes in ambient lighting and everything and uh, maybe even add reflections. So this plane could be reflecting this up above while also there's a shadow and like all that fancy stuff. But uh, for now, I think uh, I'm good. I'm done with this project. Um, if you want to see more though, let me know and I'll definitely keep working on it. And if you have any ideas for equations that I could plug into this, also let me know uh, in the comments down below. But anyways, I'll put some equations at the end might take a few days <laughs> to render them. I'll also probably animate some, you know, just so they're nicer to look at. But anyways, uh, I hope you enjoy and this put guy out.